Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to play Francis Brother by Mitski, which shows up in the Adventure Time episode Musical, played by Marceline. Okay, so I'll put this into about four sections, the whole playthrough, right hand melody, left hand chords, and then just some practice tips and how to put them together kind of at the end. So if you're someone who learns by copying and stopping and going back and looking at it again, this is probably the part for you. Um, but now we'll do the melody, so I'll play through it once without the chords distracting you and show you the finger positionings and kind of how to get there and stuff. So when I refer to one, two, three, four, or five, I'm talking about these, my fingers. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. Easy. So you start with one on A, so you go one, and then you have two on F sharp, it's across here, so one, two, two, one, and then bring it over to C sharp, three on D, back to C sharp, and then repeat, kind of, two, two, one, two, and then go up to E on four, and down to C sharp, Repeat. Just stay on D. And then now we change, remove the thumb, which is one, from A to B, because we're going to need to access up here a little soon. So that's just the first part. That repeats. That comes up later in the song sometimes. Then the next part is where we use up here. So we have one on B, three on E, then four on F sharp, five on G, two on C, then back to B. And then B, A, B with your two, so it's da 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 da. And back to E. And it's the same thing, so you just repeat what you did, except come down to E this time. And last one. E, 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 down to C again. E, C, B, oops. And then just come down to, to D. And then it comes back. So we start on B with our thumb and we basically repeat just what we've done. Three on E, four, five, four, C, B, B, A. E, e on two, three, four, three, one on B again. A, B, and down to D, and that's it. Alright, so um, 
I'll take you through the chords now. So let's start on F sharp minor. So it's just F, A, C. And if you want to make it a little more interesting, you can add another F sharp on top. Same with all of the chords I'm going to show you. Next is the D major. D, F, A, D. And then B minor. B, D, F, B. Then down to A major. A, C, E, A. Now, that's the kind of rhythm I put into the sheet music. But that's not how I play it. You can play it like that. I play just TTs. Just like that, throughout the thing. Um, if you want though, you can play it like... If you play it like that, it brings more attention to the melody. If you play it my way, it makes it more rhythmically interesting. It's up to you. So remember when we got our thumb and we moved it from the A to B? When that happens, we also change the chords. So instead of repeating, going back to this pattern, we move after the A to a D. So then we go, then back down to the F. And just for some solid chords, That was G, B, D, A, C sharp, E, D, F sharp, A, D. Just in a rhythm like that. So now we go G, B, D, G, A, C sharp, E, A. Then it's solid chord, so D, F, A, D. F sharp, A, C sharp, F sharp, G. So that's one rhythm you can do it. The way I am playing it in the song is just the first two notes from each chord. When you get to that, you just play that. And then after that bit, you continue on. So you do another G chord, G, B, D, G, A, C sharp, E, D, F sharp, A, D, back to the F minor, F sharp, A, C sharp, F sharp, and then repeat it. So it goes, I'll play it in all now. So that's what this looks like at full speed. And then repeat again. Now to that D sharp part, repeat. D, F sharp, F sharp, A, G, B, D, G, G, B, D. And normally you'd go to the D, end it on a 5-1, um, but we're doing, creating some dissonance, so you do F sharp chord instead. And this is the interval part where Marceline plays some chords on her max bass. It doesn't matter. So yeah, interval. Normally it, on the guitar, it sounds a bit different. So it sounds like... It's, yeah, it's hard to translate to the piano clearly. You can do it exactly like that if you want. Again, it's hard. Um, but all the chords are there. If you want to do it that way, you can do it that way. Um, but the way I'll do it is um okay so you start on the we're just going to do it in the rhythm we've been doing the whole time so we start f sharp minor surprise f sharp a c sharp f d sharp a d and then repeat f sharp a c sharp f sharp d f sharp a d then to a g chord Two rounds, so G B D G G B D G. Back down to the D for two rounds. D F A D D F. Then we move up to the B. Okay, so be careful about this. So don't, don't make it too jumpy. It can be. 
So put one you down with a D. Just keep holding that one and then until your pinkies reach the B because it is a very big jump. So then B, D, F, B. Not much we can do about that one. And then two rounds of an A chord. So A, C, E, A, A, C, E, A. Then to a D. D, F sharp, D, A, D, D, F sharp, A, D. And this is where we do, where it comes, where the melody comes back in. So we do a G chord. So just like that. Move up to an A. A, C, E, A. So it sounds like this. And then just back to our old, old tricks, like that one. And then back to the normal progression, the G, A, D, F sharp minor, P, G, A, C, E, A, D, F, F sharp, A, G, B, D. And that's it, that's all the chords. It's not actually that hard. Okay, so now I'll talk about some tips on how to kind of put them together. So there's two main ways you can do it. You can learn them together slowly. This method works well if you can read the sheet music because then you can see like where they line up and where they're supposed to be played together. And I'll link the sheet music um, down below. The other way you can do it is um, learning them separately until then your muscle memory. Yeah, so I learnt the melody first so I can concentrate on the left hand which is a bit more complicated. So the melody is easiest to learn, it'll get in quicker, you can learn it faster, but I do recommend consistent practice obviously is the key. So to make it interesting and make learning interesting if you have one of these keyboards, just change the sounds, like, use a harpsichord. <laughs> That's my favourite one anyway. Or another way is just try and play the rhythms in, like, um, swing, something, like. I don't know about swing, but make it fun. Make it so you actually enjoy you playing this piece, because otherwise, what's the point? Try and play the section you want to play five times in a row without any mistakes. So like, if you play it four times, make a mistake, start over. Until, once you can play the whole piece five times without any mistakes, you know it. You, you, you got it. You got it. And try and actually do some mindful practice. Don't just always just keep playing it through over and over again. So if you make a mistake, don't just keep going. Find the mistake, play that bit specifically five times and then, I don't know, maybe that'll help. Um, and my final thing, warm up, warm up your hands, warm up your brain. Um, a good warm up for this song particularly is a D major scale, because that's the key it's in. Pretty sure. So it's easy. Start on D, end on D, and it's got an F sharp, C sharp. So you start on um, Make sure to practice both hands, obviously. Otherwise, you end up like this, and you won't. <laughs> yeah, you won't be able to do it at the same. practice both hands <laughs> um, anyway I hope this actually helped you um, if it does let me know I love love it especially if people actually post videos of them playing it that's also the coolest um, but yeah I hope you have a good day and I'll see you another time bye